in this example we're going to look at how to uh, work with the standard normal curve or in this case just a non-standard normal curve to calculate percentages and then to also work backwards and find x values that correspond to certain percentages regardless of what the question is anytime they're talking about uh, you know data that's normally distributed the first thing you should always do is draw yourself a picture it just helps orient you to the question and what's going on so here's my normal distribution with a mean of 62.2 inches right and a standard deviation of 2.1 standard deviation 2.1 um, now this is for women, right? Then they also found that men have another similar distribution with a mean of 68.3 and a standard deviation of 2.9. And this is men. Okay, um, most of the live characters in an amusement park have height requirements with a minimum of 4 feet 8 inches and a maximum of 6 feet 3 inches and they want you to find the percentage of women meeting that requirement. So I'll do this in red. Right. So they're basically saying um, where would those two values land on our distribution and therefore what percentage would be in between those two numbers. So the first thing we have to do is, is put them in the right measurement, right? Instead of 4 feet 8 inches, we have to make them just all inches. So 4 feet, right, of course is 48 plus 8, so that's 56, and then 6 foot 3, well 6 is uh, 72 inches, plus 3 equals 75. So they're asking for what percentage of women are between uh, 56 and 75. We're looking for all of that. Okay. You can use uh, the formula, the z-score formula. z equals x minus mu all over sigma. So x minus the mean divided by standard deviation. That'll give you a z-score. Then you can look a z-score up in a table. It'll give you area to the left, right? And then you can look up this one, area to the left, do the difference of the two. Or you can just go straight to technology. A lot easier that way. So we'll bring up StatCrunch. Go to Stat. And we're dealing with um, our z statistics, right? But we're actually doing calculators. See when we're dealing with the normal curve we're dealing with distributions and so then you go to calculators and we're dealing with a normal distribution and this brings up our normal curve. The standard option which is what it defaults to just gives you area to the left of something or you can change it and do area to the right of something. We want area in between so we hit the between button. We have to tell it what the mean was. The mean was 62.2 the standard deviation was 2.1 and then now we want to know um, the area between two values so the low end right was 56 inches and the upper was 75 hit compute you'll notice that it changes the uh, curve to now represent an, an average of 62.2 so there it is right in the middle standard deviation of 2.1 and then it goes back and forth you know it gives you the area between those two as 0.9984 so 0.99842 let's say and it wants it to two decimal places so there's point so there's 99.84 percent uh, the percentage of men who meet the high, re high requirements we can do the same thing on uh, the men one let's skip down to this question because it's a little different it says if the height requirements are changed to exclude only the tallest 5% of men and the shortest 5% of women, what are the new height requirements? So, uh, sorry, I should do that in a different color. We'll do these in blue. 
So now we have, uh, let's do the, the men. So there's my curve. I still have an average of 68.3 and a standard deviation of 2.9. They want to exclude the tallest 5% of men. So that means this area here is going to be 5% of my data. And they want to know how tall is that. Right? We're looking for the X that corresponds to that height. And then for the, the female picture, horrible curve, sorry, we're looking for the shortest 5%. So we're looking for this X value that has uh, the shortest 5% of the women. And this one, remember, is at an average of 62.2 uh, and 2.1. Now that we have our two distributions and we know what we're looking for, we just have to calculate those cutoffs, each one of those cutoffs. So we'll bring um, StatCrunch back up and I'm going to shrink this up so we can see our picture. And then move this up. Okay, so for, uh, we'll do the men first. They have a, a mean of 68.3, right? Standard deviation of 2.9, but we want uh, the probability Right, we want to know um, what's the cutoff so that we can do it greater than x is greater than 5%. So you see the, the tail matches our picture. And so that's saying if x is 73.07, that's going to be the cutoff. So this value here, this cutoff is 73.07 which we round to 73.1. That's the answer they wanted. Now let's uh, try the women. We have to change it to less than. We also have to change the distribution. It's now 62.2 is the mean. 2.1 is the standard deviation. And we now want to know the probability that x is less than 5%. There's my picture, matches my picture, right? Less than 5%. And that's a cutoff of 58 point, looks like it would round to, well, if one decimal would be 58.7. And 58.7. Okay, that's how you tackle those uh, using StatCrunch.